Welcome to our in-depth tour of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE. Today, we'll explore its features and focus on customization and app organization to enhance your productivity and entertainment. Hey everyone, it's Aesthetic Lena here. So I'm trying something new with my Samsung tablet today and I've always been a monochrome theme person. But I decided to switch things up and go presto greenish white this time. It's actually kind of cool, give things a fresh new look. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys the wallpaper I'm using right now. It's from my Ko-Fi and I think it, it looks really awesome with the dark theme. If you want to grab it for yourself, you can check it out there. And hey, if you're feeling generous, you can support me on my Ko-Fi by buying my wallpapers or going for the link in my description to see everything about it. Now, so yeah, opening the, wall, the uh, tablet, you see my home screen. I didn't change too much. Uh, compared to before the only major difference is i would say is the layout and the theme and sort of what is really on the home screen more or less it is not a huge uh, difference compared to before but i really really do like this look and i'm planning to rock this home screen for the next couple of months all right so let's get started with the widget on my home screen and we can start first with this big ass clock and this calendar this is the google clock you can download this from the app store and this is essentially just a clock starting with the last screen Samsung offers a range of widgets to keep essential information at your fingertips. At the top, we have the time and the date uh, widget ensuring you're always on schedule. Next, the battery percentage indicator keeps you informed about your device's power status. The weather forecast widget provides real-time updates, helping you plan your day accordingly. And additionally, sunrise and sunset themes are displayed, uh, perfect for outdoor enthusiasts and photographers. Unlocking the device brings us to the home screen where customization truly shines. First off, the phone optimizer widget allows quick access to performance enhancements, ensuring your tablet runs smoothly. The quick access widget for apps like Wattpad and Wikipedia provide immediate entry to your favorite platforms. The Gmail offers the gmail widget offers a snapshot of your inbox keeping you connected without opening the app a quick assessment of your schedule is possible with the google calendar widget ensuring you never miss an appointment an additional widget a weather widget provides detail forecast so you're always prepared apps like chrome youtube settings gmail play store google files Netflix, YouTube Studio, VLC, Disney Plus, camera and base use are readily accessible, catering to both productivity and entertainment needs. In the apps menu, organization is the key. Apps are grouped into categories such as Google, movies, editing, notes and books, research and AI, games, phone design, socials and Samsung. Apps like Chrome, YouTube, settings play store google files and etc are also there now if you go over to the uh, menu part where you will see everything categorized the google folder houses apps like google drive maps photos centralizing my google services the movies folder includes streaming services like netflix and disney with high tv ensuring my entertainment app are in one place for creativity, the editing folder contains tools for editing and video st uh, editing, streamlining my workflow for content creation, school, and anything else. The notes and book folder is perfect for writers and readers with apps like Wattpad and note-taking tools like Notion and Bright Productivity app. The research and AI folder keeps my information and AI-based app organized, enhancing my learning experience, especially with ChatGTP and Gemini. All my gaming apps are neatly stored in the games folder, ready for my leisure. So I couldn't go into details about this because I had lots of games, and these are just like minimal games that you can play. So that's why the phone design. Uh, Sorry, the phone design folder contains customization apps allowing me to personalize your tablet infos. Also, uh, to stay connected with my social media, and although I did get off social media for some time, but I just added it in case I made a video and I edited it and I wanted to post it. So instead of you know transferring files between my phones all the time, I said to you know download the social media into my phone so that way 
uh, this all my social medias are in one place and i can post my videos there the samsung folder includes proprietary apps that enhances my galaxy experience to further customize my app my tablet samsung good luck app is a powerful tool it allows for extensive personalization from the lock screen to the navigation bar. With the team pack model, I can create custom teams, tailoring the aesthetic to, your, to my preferences, and I can create shape, keyboard sizes, adjust icon. I can also uh, adjust the volume panels and color schemes to match what I like at my mood. Also, uh, personal workflow. I have found that organizing apps by category not only streamlines my workflow but also helps me access the tools I need when I need them. Experiment with different groupings until you find the uh, layout that best suits your daily routine. So now, now I will give you a list of my essential apps. You might have Chrome for browsing, YouTube for entertainment, settings for quick adjustments, Gmail and Play Store for all your communications and downloads. Not to forget Google Files for managing my documents and uh, streaming apps like Netflix and YouTube Studio for creators, you know, like us. Now, additional apps that I have also have on my tablet is um, they are also included uh, VLC for watching downloaded videos and playing offline music, High TV for streaming of movies and and series especially asian ones you can go and download it although it's not available on play store now but you can check other apps sorry other websites and uh, we also have map for reading anime and thai manga especially zodo docs is what i downloaded instead of adobe uh, pdf reader because that one is way much easier and more better than that and uh, along with camera and the basis app to enhance your multimedia experience now let's take a closer look at my main app drawer here i've taken time to grade and collage my apps into intuitive categories made making uh, navigation a breeze categories overview are apps are, are organized into various folders like google this folder groups all of my google services or apps uh, everything from my drive to maps is just a tap away movies the movie folder holds my streaming apps like netflix and disney plus ensuring all my entertainment is neatly in one place i have also editing for the creative mind the editing folder contains photos and video editing apps like vlo CapCut, which i'm using to edit this video and rest also i have uh, the ones that are perfect for content creation so if you're interested in you know, me making a video for the apps that are good for content creating you can let me know down in the comments i also have notes and books next up is notes and books a heaven for writers readers and anyone who loves to jot down their thoughts i have research and ai the research and ai folder is basically just i created it for those who rely on information and smart assistance uh tools to stay informed games for some leisure time the games folder keeps on my gaming organized or gaming apps organized and accessible although i don't play games all the time but at least it's nice when you know about and uh, i also have phone designs and social and socials phone designs are like um the ones i used to design my phones you know customize my phone or tablet and socials help me to you know easily access app for personalization and con connecting with friends also to you know post my videos as i said before now samsung and more is finally there's a folder that i dedicated to that which is the uh, samsung proprietary apps along with uh, many more categories customized to my workflow for those who love personalization Personalization. Samsung provides robust customization uh, options through apps like Good Luck and Theme Park. You can go and try that, and it's only available on the, um, the official Samsung Galaxy store. But the, I think they have another one that is called Fine Lock that you can, you know, substitute for the Good Luck one. So I have also custom themes with Theme Park. You can create custom theme by selecting your web profile, which then auto generate a color palette for your icons and system i u like mine is a greenish white postal theme adjust shapes tweak the keyboards and modify volumes panels to truly make your tablet your own now optimization tips is additionally using your phone optimizer is uh, the widget ensures that you, your device remains a peak at peak performance and uh, regularly clear out unnecessary files and monitor your battery usage to keep everything running 
about personal workflow i have found that organizing my apps uh you know by category not only streamline my workflow but also helps me assess the tools i need when i need them and also experimenting with different groups until i find the layout also helped me a lot in you know suiting my daily routines so uh if you guys are interested i can make another video because apparently this video was made in a rush and everything all the apps i couldn't go into it as i said before there are some privacy so all the apps i couldn't show all of them but these are just the ones that i know that people will be interested in. and i have a whole lot of apps because i do a whole lot of things because first of all i have apps for school i have apps for personal life i have apps for creating content and i have app for work so that's basically why this is like this so um if you guys if the video is confusing let me know that in the comment section i don't know i've already said before i'm not very good with voiceover i did make a script for this but then i don't know if i'm flopping or if i'm flapping it so you guys should just let me know and That brings us to the end of our in-depth Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE tour. I hope you enjoyed discovering all the ways this tablet can be customized to fit your lifestyle. From intuitive widgets on the lock screen to a perfect organized app, drawer and uh, powerful personalization tools. Thank you for joining me on this tour and if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech insights and in-depth reviews. I would love to hear your thoughts or any customization tips in the comment below. Uh, see you in my next video. And if you are going to be watching this video, check the slide. You see my wallpapers. These are the new ones. In case you want them, let me know them in the comment section and I will see you on the next one. Bye.